difficult when, when you inherently sound sarcastic. But if, <laughs> even if I mean it, go, oh, you look nice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, no, John, just, just for the sake of art, just genuine. I mean, Rachel, you look lovely this evening, but genuinely, John, look at Rachel in the eyes and tell her she looks nice this evening. Just, <laughs> just genuinely see if you can do it. She's a beautiful woman. Tell her she's a beautiful woman, John. You're very... <laughs> <laughs> no, John, just take a minute, John. Take a minute. Just focus. Well, me, just tell her, tell her how she thinks... There's so many women at home that will be quite excited about it. You're a very beautiful lady. <laughs> That, that's honestly, you're happy with that. That's the best you could. I mean, it's not, the, it's not the sort of arena I'd planned for it to happen in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm a whiner, I'm a diner. I, I'm a fucking whiner, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there not a round on how to compliment a man? I got needs. <laughs> Why don't you look me in the eye and tell me I'm amazing? Well, after I went to see your stand up show, um, I cleaned my house a bit more. That's the most depressing compliment <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> See you do the thing you're good at, you know, then when you show off in front of the women, I went home and I tell you what, I scrubbed that skirting board. Oh. <laughs> Claudia, did you get it? I don't think it can be done. Claudia, no. did you get it? No. Not even close. I tried. I got okay, to so seven. They don't think it could be done, but you think you definitely did it. Okay, Richard. Okay. Take the ten and square it. It's not allowed in countdown. Um, actually, um, can you, um, cube it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cube it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> and then I'd like you to square the five for me, please. <laughs> I like it. And then I'd like you to time tap 25 by the two. The other two. Perfect. Haven't and then take it away one? and you've got your 950. <laughs> um, OK. OK. <laughs> oh. So, Rachel, mind blown? I was, that was amazing. That's, that was proper maths and you haven't used any of the numbers twice. Thank it's you, It's never Rachel. been done before. It's groundbreaking. That's right. You're my hero. All of those things. <laughs> Could it actually be done? No. <laughs> no way. No. It's just been done. Well, despite Richard's amazing maths, no one got any points there. Uh, the scores at the moment: uh, Richard and Rob have no points. No, points. no what? They got. Hey, come on, Rachel. Come on, mate. What? I'm not even on their team, but he just did something wizard. <laughs> if you want to square and cube things, get a job in a fucking jelly factory, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Maybe the weakest, maybe the weakest comeback there's ever been. <laughs> that is the no, 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 no. get a job in a jelly factory, no. mate. <laughs> that that's the worst thing that's ever been said. <laughs> John, what, what, what do you think makes someone cool? I don't know. I've got a, uh, got a stainless steel birdseed feeder. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> Sitting the wrong way on a chair is cool, isn't it? In the 90s, not now. <laughs> Come on, so hang on. If you were going to sit on that chair in a cool fashion, show us how that would work. Oh, the, I think the well, arms are going to get Oh, yeah. <laughs> she... <laughs> it feels like that was the wrong way to do that. Uh... I'd agree with you. You look like you're waiting for something else to happen. <laughs> I do feel happier, though. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Daddy O. <laughs> on with the quiz, JC. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you got a mascot this week, John? Well, a lot of people have like lucky pants, and I've never. I don't consider anything that's touched my penis to be that lucky. <laughs> really? <laughs> what I've gone for this week is a sort of a distraction technique. Uh, Ooh. So I shall be playing a character this week uh, that will both <laughs> intimidate Sean and drive Sarah wild with sexual desire. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, no, no, you turned round. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I'm the countdown kid. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the what now? <laughs> John, to me, you look like something Elton John's ordered in case he's a bit peckish. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pretty mouth, kid. <laughs> you, gon', you ain't gonna be laughing so much in 30 seconds' time when I'm gonna get a six and you're gonna get a five. Count <laughs> 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 that kid didn't know studio was gonna be so hot. 
Are you getting a sweaty head? Countdown Kid might have a bit of a sweat problem. <laughs> Okay, so Sarah, you were on John's team last week with the Countdown Kid. Yeah. With Sean this evening. What, what do you think? Well, John didn't wear the hat last week, and he won. So I think it's not a lucky charm at all. I don't think he can keep it up. I mean, the accent. You got a pretty mouth. I have that pretty much. It's, it's lipstick on, so it looks like a vagina. <laughs> Oh, that's what lipstick's for, did you not know? <laughs> Countdown kid think that's ironic, cos when you open your mouth, everybody else gets fucked. That didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't me. <laughs> John, what do you think? Uh, George Clooney got married, didn't he? George Clooney, George Clooney did get married. I'll tell you who else is engaged. You. <laughs> well, John, this is... What a turnaround. No-one saw this coming, did they? <laughs> Congratulations, John. And if the other half is watching at home, commiserations. <laughs> the other half... ..of me. Her indoors. <laughs> it's huge news, though, isn't it? It's big for me, yeah. I wouldn't expect many other people to give a shit, but... <laughs> How did you propose? Obviously, Clooney got down on one knee and did the full romantic thing. But how did you? How did you propose? I panicked and went down on two knees. <laughs> Just to cover your bases. Sort of, yeah, squatted romantically. <laughs> it's, yeah. How, it's how you got into showbiz, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so the George Clooney wedding. Has he given you any ideas for your nuptials? Well, he did a deal with Hello. And I'm pleased to reveal that I have done an exclusive deal with Good Housekeeping magazine. <laughs> They're not going to have any pictures of the ceremony, but then they are going to have pictures of me tidying up afterwards. <laughs> so you had to get confetti out of a carpet. It's going to be a revealing shoot. John, Adam, your turn to pick the numbers. Go for it. I didn't feel quite comfortable in that round, as myself. No, no, I, I, feel I like sense underachieved. that. Yeah. So I think if I could just put this on for a moment. <laughs> Bonjour, Jimmy. <laughs> Je m'appelle l'enfant canton. <laughs> well, one of those words you can't say. <laughs> Many words I cannot <laughs> say. <laughs> Bonjour, on y va. Uh, what's your, what's, what are your tips for this one? You have actually have a theory about this, don't you? Pick a number <laughs> and then do it again five times. <laughs> Pick a big number. <laughs> Uh, a, a big number, please. Seulement un? Me? Un. de la petite. Girls versus boys tonight, isn't it? <laughs> are, are people laughing because you just called John Richardson a girl? I presume that's why they were laughing, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with being a girl? Yeah. Can I just say yeah, that you... You're not a girl, are you? But, well, I mean, I'd rather fight this fight myself. You're not... <laughs> <laughs> You're calling me a girl. Ladies, deal with this, please. <laughs> I'm too upset to speak at the moment. <laughs> I have a penis. John, wrong, wrong meeting. <laughs> I have a girlfriend and testicles and some whiskey and a fridge. I mean, we can carry on with the things I've got. <laughs> got a hammer. Got a hammer? I tried to put up some shelves. And? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I have another hat. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, you didn't mind. Wow, well, you saw you're an Australian who's been castrated. <laughs> oh, lady. Maybe that was the case with all of them. <laughs> You know what's lovely is this time I can actually talk to you. French, I'm not across, but Australian. Yeah, how's it going, mate? You all right? Yeah, and all that stuff. I <laughs> <laughs> saw the bloody kangaroo before, didn't I? Did you? Yeah, what'd you do? Just walk past it. There's loads of them in the trail, isn't there? <laughs> it's not noteworthy, is it? What was his name? Pouchy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I know, Pouchy. He's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Hit him with my car. <laughs> My ute! G'day, Rachel. 
You sound like Dame Edna. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'd like two big ones. Just because we're on zero, can you do me a favour? Can you stay in character when you do the maths as an Australian? Then I might win. <laughs> it's actually very offensive. <laughs> I'm actually quite hurt. <laughs> best thing about being a kid? Not getting stiff. That was the best thing about being a kid. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I mean, it's to my credit, I didn't say yes, anything yeah. there. <laughs> tell us more about not getting stiff as a child, John. <laughs> Sometimes play... that can happen to grown-ups as well. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> if I have a day now where I've gone upstairs a lot in a day, the next day my legs hurt. I used to play football for, like, 12 hours straight through, breaking only for meals, and I was you, fine Are, are you looking day. at Rebecca when you're telling her about your workouts as a kid? <laughs> I'm looking at everyone. I'm looking at anyone who will look back and hold my gaze. <laughs> Would you like to do a joke about holding my gaze? I shouldn't have brought them with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is either going to be Mexican or Chinese. <laughs> either way, it's going to be racist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> that could still be either. <laughs> It was just wow. a moment in his eyes then. <laughs> I saw it, which went, I really wish I hadn't done this one. It feels to me this is the only thing on television that makes the Dolmio ads look OK. <laughs> <laughs> Your people are ignorant. <laughs> I imagine Sarah's very excited to be on Countdown tonight. Normally, the only letters Geordies get are the ones from bailiffs. <laughs> be very careful. I okay. know people. I don't. You don't know anyone? Nah. <laughs> Not really deep down. Oh. <laughs> People put up barriers when I'm around. <laughs> like physical, actual, like, barriers? Sometimes. Yeah. So, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has suffered two fractured ankles due to excessively wearing Cuban heels to look taller. So we asked our studio audience, would you suffer pain to look good, yes or no? So he was wearing Cuban heels to look taller. You're not paranoid about your height, are you, Sean? You... No. No, no you've no, because I'm exactly six foot. How tall are you, John? Five, like, nine, ten on a good day. Yeah, I've got <laughs> a little bit of good news for you. I've got you these. Yeah. <laughs> it's they're... the news I've been waiting for, Jimmy. Well, they're Cuban heels, but they're in your size, so I thought you could... Are they? You just slip them on and we'll see whether you look more well, sophisticated. Why wouldn't I? Wow. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. I think Fabulous. you'll enjoy those. I have another fact. Awesome. Apparently, 60% of people, of millionaires, are over <laughs> six foot two. Ah. Oh, really? Apparently. <laughs> Does one tuck the jean into a Cuban heel? Yes. yes oh, yeah, yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah, you, def you definitely do. They all do. Newfound respect for you, John. I just um, think. Can you go into the middle? Or can you just stand on the? Uh... Oh sure, I'll stand on the glowing light in case I don't look like <laughs> enough of a bell end back there. <laughs> I made a doc about a shoemaker recently, and um, he's been making shoes for 50 years. I don't think was... anyone's listening to you. Was... <laughs> I just think John has dropped a hip, and we are mesmerised. <laughs> look at that pelvis. It's... Could be Would you consider legs. a Cuban heel? Would I consider a human heel? The answer I mean... has already been made, James. <laughs> Are you sitting on my six foot, then? Can I stand next to you to see what the hell... Yeah, well, Sean, if you can come out. <laughs> Your this is still bigger. <laughs> see, I still it... look shit. I just look like a short prick in heels now. <laughs> I think you might be about... I've been looking at the uh, health and safety regs around this building and this show, and having looked, I'm amazed we're not all killed on a weekly basis. This is a fucking death trap, this building. So I've done my training. I'm now a, a fully approved health and safety officer. Um, so if you'll permit me to go around, I've got my, uh, my health and safety high-vis cardigan. Um, <laughs> that I do mainly old people's homes. These are great, these. I make these myself. And uh, they've caught road deaths in the over-70s by 40%. <laughs> Oh, my God. You can... I hate to say this, but that really suits you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I've been having a look around. This is the first problem. 
This is like sitting under a guillotine every week. <laughs> How sharp that point is. And that swings round onto my head. No, it doesn't come near you. So I had no choice but to provide myself with a hard hat. <laughs> um, so that, that's not a problem anymore. Then I go, and this is a true fact, if you have more than ten or more employees, you are legally obliged to have an accident and incident logbook. And uh, I've never been shown ours. And uh, I know you've got probably ten or more staff, so I've got one for you as well to just have at the house. Um, <laughs> Next problem is you, Susie, with that death trap in front of you, the dictionary. We yeah. all know how easily a paper cut can happen, so I've got you some uh, <laughs> oven gloves. Uh, <laughs> if you don't mind wearing those, just at any point where... Okay. That was, who, who thought I was going to get that on the desk? <laughs> oh, Great. that's a shot. Oh, I feel so masculine. <laughs> uh, Rachel, you've got, uh, you've got quite a lot uh, going on there, mm -hmm. so... Um, <laughs> Good to get some exercise, isn't it? Some safety goggles there, Thanks. just in case anything sort of falls off or, or comes near you. Uh, <laughs> Very masculine run, John. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you. That's my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> These things are bloody dangerous, aren't they? You, you never know. You're having a drink and then all of a sudden you put your cup down and... Oh! <laughs> So I got everyone uh, a little sippy cup. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> countdown sippy, sippy cup. cup. And then finally, looking at the statistics on uh, how many panel show comedians are killed each year in chair-based falls. Absolutely shocking. None so far. But uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be the first, so I got myself... <laughs> oh. so little... Let's count down. John Richardson, everyone. Um, what do you want me to do? do? We were going to raise money for, like, like, a good cause. John's getting married, and we'd quite like to raise money so he doesn't wear a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> so if we raise money for a suit for his wedding, that'd be... OK, so he, you're, you're getting married? Let's hope so. John. OK. Ev every day's a bonus so far. <laughs> do you want maracas for yeah. John? OK. Um, oh. If I had them, I wouldn't need to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Make any sense, <laughs> I like it, I like that. I like it. Uh, John, John Richardson. Right. He wears his beauty on the inside. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. <laughs> John, John Richardson. A suit and tie. Will make his little face come alive. <laughs> He's got a little face. He's gonna take her up the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take her up the aisle. So let's help him do it in style. People, can you hear me? He could look as good as Jimmy. <laughs> John Richardson He's got he's got the soul of a champion <laughs> Feel that they do at the end, down the lens. Do the appeal. I'm getting married in a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. <laughs> I'm getting married. Uh... I've never felt simultaneously so patronised and so happy. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to live in my house and just look at me every now and go, do the maracas. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a treat, thanks. But I've had a big year as well. I had a. Uh, we had a baby, I think it's the fairest way to say it. Even, yes, we did. Even... <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Rich. So I thought I'd do some of the words that I learnt this year that I didn't know before the year started. Um, so this is the first word I learnt this year. It's ten <laughs> letters. <laughs> and it's episiotomy. What's an episiotomy? Episiotomy is... <laughs> they take a... F <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they get some... 
a sharp, a very sharp, and that when the ladies um, <laughs> wide, and then they, they cut. I can't do that one. <laughs> I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. The next word I learned is perineum. <laughs> What's a perineum, John? Well, you, when you have your episiotomy, that's they cut the, and it's in, it's the bit. <laughs> so it's not the bit, and it's not the other bit. It's, it's sort of a, a middle bit. <laughs> you wouldn't ever think of it if you were a man. You wouldn't think, oh, there's a bit. you just think, oh, that bit, but not that bit. <laughs> there's it. And then sometimes... <laughs> 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 and then when the baby's born, the baby does a poo, and there's a word which is meconium, and that's... <laughs> That's the first poo a baby does, and it's a shit so foul it <laughs> has to have its own name. <laughs> it sticks to everything. <laughs> it's like the stuff they use to attach prizes to magazines. <laughs> they all look like people who, when they come out of the conference, they still leave their little lanyards on when they get into the hotel, even though they know. There's a point on the train where they think, oh, I'm not at the conference anymore, I should take this off, and I thought, this will be an interesting conversation starter in the bar. <laughs> so, I see you've got a landlord. Yes, I've been at the Labour Party conference. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off, you dick. You're not there anymore. It's like, they're, like, they're like they wear them all year. Like, yeah, I've got all my festivals. Yeah, I went to all the conferences. I'm pretty important. Are you really? You know that's all happened in your head? Yeah. <laughs> None of that happened. You're oh, so really annoyed does. with a man on a train <clears throat> that you've imagined who's left his badge yeah. on. You just that hasn't this. happened. No, it it's, it's, it's just classic. It's just... It, nobody does that. They do. Nobody's bothered about any... Of all the things to get annoyed about, it's not like, and he didn't take his lemon off! <laughs> <laughs> also, you just, a, a, just a bastard! <laughs> you can it on! <laughs> I genuinely believe, like, there's times when you're on a train and you see someone with their little thing hanging out and you think, oh, you want me to ask what that is? No! It was the same during the Olympics when they all had their caps on and their bags and they're like, yeah, I'm helping make the Olympics happen. Well, well we're on a train now, it's not happening here, is it? Are you having... <laughs> you're having a go at all the Olympic volunteers, that's what John's doing. I'm having a go at the ones who were volunteers yeah, yeah, yeah. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do me a favour? Yes. Could you do me a favour? Could you put away your gold medals? Because yeah, I'm sorry. it's over now and it's yeah. boring John. Yeah. <laughs> because John doesn't like it when people remember nice things they've been to. I don't like <laughs> I don't... There he is, killing joy. <laughs> Gangnam style. <laughs> hey, pull me back. Well, I went to the Paralympics and I had my laminate. And I. Went for a meal. I went for lunch before. Oh, <laughs> you leave it on. Well, the day before I'd forgotten it, so I thought I'll put it on. I'll put my coat over it. That's fine. Took my coat off to eat, and then the guy came over. He said, "Oh, what's that?" And I said, "Oh," <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What's that?" And I said, "Oh, I'm. I've got to be at the Paralympics." Oh. And he. And no, he that's said, an interesting story. Actually, I've got to be at the Paralympics. Yeah. No, you're right, John. It is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> If he'd taken his laminate off and lost it, he couldn't get in. Yeah. The reason they keep it on is Look that's how they get in to do get their job. He's... You left it on so that he would ask and you go, sorry, uh, I'm doing a bit of TV work, apparently. It's no. really boring, but uh, if you could bring the food quickly, because you've got to be on TV in, like, an hour, so, uh, anyway. <laughs> Working at the Paralympics, yeah, it's pretty boring. I'm sorry you asked me about it. <laughs> <laughs> With your girlfriend as well, with your, with your little lanyard and your girlfriend. And, oh. <laughs> That's the real issue. <laughs> People with laminates have relationships. <laughs> yeah, I was just wearing a laminate in a bar. She just came up to me and said, What's that? Oh, God, yeah, I didn't even know I had it. <laughs> it's really heavy. And when I took my coat off, I thought, Oh, bloody laminate, I'll leave it on. <laughs> What's that? It's just a laminate that points down at my penis. I've got a penis. Maybe you want to touch it and be my boy. <laughs> Have you got a lucky mascot of any description? Well, I have, yeah. Well, it's not really a mascot. When I was at primary school, I got given a, an award just for being extra special. <laughs> I've kept it all these years. It says, awarded to John Richardson for being extra special. Why do they give that yeah, to you? Yeah, what was it for? Well, it's for being extra special, man. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. Look how good Nick that is. That is good good. <laughs> Did you ever wear the badge, or has it always stayed on the...? No, I've never taken the badge off because I didn't want to perforate the card. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yes, I'm genuinely incredibly excited to be here. It is incredibly exciting, isn't it? It's I like, you know how excited John gets before he comes on Countdown? I'm like that, only taller. Can you imagine that? <laughs> taller than me? I might be an inch, innit? Yeah. Well, that look. Look. Well, are you taller than Rich? I don't, <laughs> okay. I don't think you are. I always think of you as just being My stupid. <laughs> Well, let's go back to back. Go back to back. I've been on a train with you, Joe, and it's, it's a treat. Yeah, it's nice. You're Deceptively there. long legs, I found, when I shared a train with him. Seems yeah. to get everywhere. Can I ask quickly whether you guys are all going on the train? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Eight out of ten cats holiday, is it? You know, works outings and things. Nights yeah. out. <laughs> The Christmas do, we have the Christmas do. <laughs> and there's the summer trip, the summer yeah. trip away. Lunch on Sunday was lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was good. Wasn't it? <laughs> Scrabble Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, curry night. Oh, that's which... tonight. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am actually uh, awaiting the results of... I've stood in the election for uh, the Countdown Party, which I <laughs> launched last year to get Countdown fans voting, really. So I've stood in the constituency of Wet Wang, uh, <laughs> in East Yorkshire, and uh, I've got every hope of getting in with some of my key policies to enhance Countdown. Well, what, what are these policies? Well, obviously, a lot of Countdown viewers are retired, so I bring the age of retirement down to 30. <laughs> That way, I think a lot more people would watch. Um, <laughs> get rid of the letter K. Don't need it. <laughs> We've got 25 letters. That's round, isn't it? Then you could put that in a nice grid. But 26 is bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> it ruins the little rhyme at the end. Why have we got a kicking cur and a curly cur? We haven't got a sexy S and a spicy S, have we? <laughs> Change the national anthem just to that. <laughs> you, could have, you could have words to it if you wanted to. But Do you have words worked out for the national well, you just change them according to whatever the situation is. <laughs> well, here's the situation. Like... This is the new national anthem, everyone. This is Britain. This is Britain. <laughs> this is Britain. <laughs> <laughs> This is Britain, 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 I would love us to sing that song to my mum just before we deport her. <laughs> <laughs> Does this show still go out no, on no, 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 <laughs> no. Can't look in yet. Oh, my God, no, Sean. You don't want to ruin it. Oh, sorry. It's an incredible game. OK, John and Sean, this is a bluffing game. John, in front of you, there is a red box. Sean, in front of you, there is a gold box. There's a carrot in one of these boxes. I know, it's exciting stuff. <laughs> the aim of the game is to end up with the carrot. It's a game of bluff. When do we do the conundrum? <laughs> Sean, stand still. Let's find... John, you want a carrot? Sean, you want a carrot. But there is only one carrot. Let's play. It's incredible. Shush! It's a brilliant game. Shush! Stupid! Stop ruining Christmas! Can you tell me? Why are you ruining Christmas? I'm not ruining Christmas. Well, you this are! Is, this is ruining Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face, he's excited about playing. You've got to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, I can't wait to win this carrot. <laughs> OK, let's play. Carrot in a box. <laughs> OK, Sean, you can look inside your box. John, you cannot look inside your box. OK, you want the carrot, Sean. And no, 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 don't, don't, don't put no hands in the box. You can look inside the box. Have you looked? Have you seen? Yeah. OK, you now have to convince John to swap his box if you think he has the carrot, or keep your box. It's a game of bluff. The winner yeah. is the one with the carrot. Oh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll keep this. <laughs> it's got a carrot in it. Okay, you have a choice. Do you want 
Do you want to swap or not? I mean, he seems confident there's a carrot in there. He's seen the floor in this Jimmy's game. Jimmy's plowing on. <laughs> what do you mean, Jimmy's plowing on? It's one job. <laughs> it's Sean Bluffing. Does he have a carrot in his box? <laughs> It's a real quandary for me, Jimmy, this. Well, he can choose them. Yeah, box. he's allowed to swap yeah. if he wants no, to swap. Can't, but can't I just keep my box? <laughs> no, he can swap if he wants well, to I can swap. I refuse to swap it. No. <laughs> you can't make somebody swap something they want to swap it. <laughs> Have it's you never old. played Carrot in a Box before? You never, <laughs> have you never seen the show? I must it's have been on holiday. Time. I must have been on holiday that it's... week. It was allowed out. Do you want to keep your box or swap your box? I can keep this or I can have the box that's definitely got a carrot. <laughs> yes. I want Sean's box. OK, we'll grab Sean's box. Sean, let go of the box. Right. It's the nature of the game. <laughs> it's the nature of the game. Can I just say, at this point, if there's no carrot in that box, you are a genius. <laughs> Let's swap boxes, swap boxes. Am I allowed swap the boxes? Swap. Am I allowed to have my box back? Is there another round where I get to have the box with the carrot in back? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to level with you, fellas. We've never played this game before. <laughs> we do not know how it ends. OK, so, John, you're now allowed to look in your box. Right. And, and I believe you can reveal... Point it the other way. Does it contain a carrot or not? Sit down now and think about what we've done. <laughs> <laughs> John, have you got an ascot? Uh, yes, well, it's a chance to plug my latest project. Um, I've written an erotic novel <laughs> based on my own life. <laughs> oh, um, God. It's called Deep Clean. <laughs> Do you like to hear some? I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of erotic fiction. All down the street, they could hear the screaming coming from the bathroom. Harder, harder, she cried. You'll never shift that lime scale like that. <laughs> In the dimly lit bathroom, he stood naked, except for his clothes. <laughs> Holding in his hand his pulsating wet toothbrush. <laughs> All clean, he declared, scuttling into the bedroom. That smells nice, she purred as he emptied the bottle into his hands and began massaging the soft flesh of her shoulders. Good, he said, and it's also killing 99.9% <laughs> of all the bacteria on your back. <laughs> Good old Carex. You haven't, you haven't written this, you've remembered it, haven't you? <laughs> when he'd finished, he stripped off slowly, making two neat piles of light and darks. Are you going to tie me up, she asked. No, he laughed sarcastically. I'm going to let you wander around the house willy-nilly while I'm trying to do the hoovering. <laughs> Available in uh, my garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you're very good at countdown. What else can you do in 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Not that, actually. <laughs> I reckon I could count to 100 in 30 seconds. Right, OK. <laughs> it's, it's not much of a challenge, but let's... <laughs> I mean, we've got plenty of time, why not? Really? This is going to happen? <laughs> well, I, with you. I don't know if you've just switched over from the Formula One. <laughs> Strap in, because this is wild. <laughs> Can I just check in with our maths expert, Rachel? Are there numbers up to 100? Yeah. OK, good. <laughs> uh, you ready, John? Your time starts now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 78, 77, 76, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 9, 9, 100. <laughs> really fucking embarrassed about how serious you took that. I really wanted that in a way that I hate about myself. 
When this show ends, I'm going to try that again upstairs. <laughs> that is the pathetic truth that is my existence. If you're watching at home and you're lonely... <laughs> ..maybe you could count to 130 seconds. <laughs> This is Britain, 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 this is Britain.